welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make the wide leg granny stitch pants and for the materials you need a pair of scissors um, a hook the hook that we shall be using is a five millimeter crochet hook then a measuring tape this is a must the measurement that we are going to consider for this tutorial is the hip measurement and then for the yarn I'm using winter king which is a four ply acrylic yarn it's a, it's a DK weight yarn, so if you have anything close to this, just substitute. And then uh, for the yarn, I used about 15 balls, and each ball is 150 yards. So that means approximately 2,250 2, yards for the whole piece. So let's get started. The measurement that I'll be considering for this particular piece is the hip measurement of 40 inches. So we are going to get half of the 40. So get your uh, hip measurement divided by half and then note down the half measurement. So for me, that is 20 inches. All right, so we're going to start off with our magic ring. You're going to wrap your yarn around like this. And then you're going to grab the working yarn, remove your fingers, and then you're going to make a chain of three, which counts as a double crochet. The chain three at the beginning of the row always counts as a double crochet. So two more double crochets into the magic ring. This pattern is explained in US thumbs. So, so far we have a total of one, two and three since the chain three counts as a stitch so we have three double crochets chain two and then into the magic ring you're going to place three double crochets one two and three chain two three double crochets into the same magic ring chain two and then three double crochets into the magic ring. So you should be having a total of four groups. One, two, three, four. Four groups of three double crochets separated by chain two spaces. And then from here, you're going to close off your magic ring by tying on the tail of the, pulling on the tail of the magic ring like this so that it can close up. And then you should be having a total of three chain two spaces. You have this one, this one, and this one. Let's go on to round, row two. For row two, you're going to make a chain of four, which counts as a double crochet chain one. Turn your work. Into the chain two space, you're going to place a shell. And a shell is three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets into that same chain two space. Chain one, a shell into the next chain two space. So a shell is three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets. Chain one into the next chain two space. You're going to place a shell, which is three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. Then from here, you're going to make a chain of one and then skip over the next two stitches. And on top of the chain three, you're going to place one double crochet. And we should balance exactly what we have on this side onto this side, as you can see here. Then row three, you're going to make a chain of three, 
which counts as a double crochet turn your work two more double crochets into the very first chain one space to make a total of three double crochets since the chain three counts as a stitch chain one into the chain two space you're going to place a shell which is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets into the same exact space chain one three double crochets into the chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain sorry uh, this is a chain two space so it will get a shell so three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets Just like that chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one into the chain two space you're going to place a shell After your shell you're going to chain one and then into the very last chain one space which should be this one you're going to place three double crochets so your panel should be growing and becoming bigger and bigger but a few things that we should not um, the shell the chain two space of the shell always creates a corner so you should be having three corners for your panel this one this one and this one so this is the topmost area of the shirt or the pants and then this is the bottom area so let's go on row four you're going to start off with a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work you're going to go into the chain one space with three double crochets chain one into the shell you're going to place a shell so every chain two space gets a shell which is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets in order to maintain the corner in the same exact line and then from the shell you always chain one and if it's a chain one space next you always place three double crochets so every chain one space gets three double crochets after this you make a chain of one if it's a chain one next you only place three double crochets chain one and then if it's a chain two space that means it's a corner and we place a shell into the corners so the chain two spaces are only found at the corners and they always get a shell into the chain two space of the corner or of the previous shell chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one into the next corner or shell you're going to place a shell which is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets all in the same space chain one into the chain one space you're going to place one double crochet sorry three double crochets into the chain one space then from here you're going to make a chain of one and into the top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row you're going to place a double crochet there 
So we are literally going to alternate between the row that starts with a chain of four and ends with a chain one double crochet. And then the row that starts with the three double crochets and ends with the three double crochets. Those are the two rows that we are going to keep alternating until the length across from this corner here to this corner can stretch to half the hip measurement. Remember the measurement that I told you to note down? Mine is 20, so that means I am still working back and forth until I get this measurement to stretch to my 20 inches that I want for my panel. And I'll meet you back when I have that size for my panel. All right guys, so I went ahead to do a total of 12 rounds 12 rows for the very first panel. As you can see here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And now you're going to go ahead and make a second panel. A second panel identical to the first one, but you're going to do less by one row. So that means here I have a total of 11 rows all together. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 and 11 so 11 rows you're going to make the 12th row while joining onto the first panel so we are going to join this side and this side but then we are only going to join the tip without joining these two sides because these are supposed to create the leg holes of the pants so you're going to make a chain of all right so we're going to make a chain of three instead of a chain of four and then you're going to introduce your second panel which is this one the one that has 12 rows and you're going to remove your hook from this side And now the fact that we are joining this side to this side, you're going to remove your hook, insert your hook into this space here, and then pull through the loop, chain one more to make a total of four chains that were supposed to go here at the beginning of the row, and then place three double crochets into the chain one space, just like that. And then chain one, remove your hook, insert it into the next chain one space, pull through, and then place uh, three double crochets into the next chain one space. So we are working the final row of the second panel while joining the two panels together. Chain one, attach, and three double crochets into the chain one space of the second panel. So you're going to repeat that until you get to the corner. All right, now we've attached into the chain one space here. And you're going to go into the corner and you're going to place three double crochets chain two sorry it's supposed to be a chain two but we're going to make a chain of one and attach into the corner on this side pull through chain one more to make a, to a total of two and then three more double crochets into the same exact chain two space so at this point, we have joined the two sides together, as you can see. So for this side, we're just going to continue to chain one, three double crochets into the next chain one space. We're not joining it onto any side because this is supposed to create the leg hole of the pants. So it's supposed to be left open.
all right so we are coming to the corner which is this one you're going to chain one and you're going to place three double crochets into the chain two space like that then you're going to make a chain of one and attach into the corner of the second panel or this is supposed to be the first panel that's finished so you chain one remove your hook and attach into this corner chain one more and then you're going to go into the same chain two space of the second panel and you're going to place three more double crochets so that way we have joined to create the very first leg hole of the pants then you're going to go all the way across placing three double crochets in each and every chain one space and then chaining one in between the groups of three double crochets so what we are doing here is forming the second leg hole so just carry on with the pattern until you get to your next corner All right, so we've reached the next corner and you're going to make a chain of one and into the chain two space, you're going to place three double crochets, chain one, and then you're going to bring your next panel, your second panel here. And you're going to go into the corner of this panel, pull through the loop that you've left behind, like that, chain one more. And then we are going to start joining this side as well, joining this side to this side. So you're going to place three more double crochets into the chain two space. Chain one. Insert your hook into the chain one space on this side. And then three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one attach three double crochets into the next chain one space attach and repeat that all the way up All right, now at the end, when you place three double crochets into the very last chain one space on the second panel, you're going to make a chain of one, remove your hook, attach into the chain one space on this side, and then you're going to go on top of the, um, the chain three on the edge, and you're going to place a double crochet. And that way we have joined the sides of the shorts because now at this level we are at the shorts level. We have joined this part as well as this part and then we, we have created the leg holes of the pants. And now the fact that we are on the upper side, we are going to go ahead and 
create the waistband of the pants and then later on we shall go to the downer section of the pants so at this point you can try on your shorts to make sure they fit and let's go on to the waistband it's so for the waistband you're going to make a chain of three and you're going to place two double crochets in each and every row around the waistband so into the first row you're going to place two double crochets into this row you're going to place two double crochets and you're going to repeat this all the way around So I've come to the end of my first round of the waistband and after placing your two double crochets into the very last row, you're going to place a slip stitch into the top of the first chain three of the round and make a slip stitch. Now let's go into round two, you're going to make a chain of three and then make a front post double crochet into the next stitch and then a back post double crochet into the next. So you're going to alternate between front post and back post double crochet all the way around until you come back to the beginning of the round and I'll meet you back at this point. made it around alternating between front post and back post double crochet and I'm going to place one slip stitch into the top of the first chain three of the round then chain three and then place a front post double crochet in each front post double crochet and a back post in each back post double crochet from the previous round and keep alternating between the two stitches all the way around So this is going to create the ribbed effect as you can see here some stitches are pushed to the back and the ribbed effect should be seen on both sides of the shirts both the wrong side and the right side so i've made it all the way around for the third round of the waistband and you should see your work coming in a bit this should also be stretchy outwards so after a very last stitch you're going to slip stitch on top of the first chain three of the round and then you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn you can go ahead and make more rounds until you get the thickness of the waistband that you desire but for me three rounds was just enough for me then uh, you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to make a very simple chain of about 150 chains Alright, so I ended up making a total of 200 chains instead of 150 and now you're going to grab your darning needle and thread the tail of your chain just like this and you're going to start from the exact middle of the shirt in that line and you're going to go in and out of every two stitches of the middle round of the waistband
okay so when you make it all the way around you should be having two strands try to balance them a bit so that they're the same length on both ends and this is going to act as our drawstring for the waist area just like this supposed to adjust the waist either bigger or tighter depending on the tension that you want around your shirt so you're going to tie and then you cut off the excess on this end you can even go ahead and attach some beads or some accessories or some tassels i'll be leaving a link for you on the screen if you want to try out the tassels on the ends of the drawstring now we're going to turn these shorts into pants into wide leg pants and i'll be showing you how all right so to make our pants longer you're going to attach your yarn into the middle section of the pants see that tip that's where we're going to attach our yarn so the shirt is supposed to be like this when it's upside down so we're going to first work one side of the of the leg then we come back to the second leg as well so we're going to attach our yarn into this space on this side all right so you're going to make a chain of three which counts as our very first double crochet one more double crochet into the same space and then the third double crochet into this space on the opposite side so that's a total of three double crochets and make sure you're working in the opposite direction of the previous round as you can see here then you're going to make a chain of one three double crochets in two into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space and we are going to repeat that all the way around and when you get to this point where the two panels meet i'll show you exactly what to do at this point just go all the way across until you get here so when you get to this point where the two panels meet as you can see this is where the two panels meet you're going to make a chain of one and you're going to place two double crochets into the last ch uh, chain space of the first panel before you cross over to the second panel and then one double crochet into the first space of the second panel to make a total of three double crochets then chain one one double crochet into the next chain one space so we're just going to con continue doing that until we come back to the beginning of the round this should be round one of the leg hole since before we were working in rows this is our very first round Alright, so we are almost coming to the beginning of the round and here you're going to make a chain of one and slip stitch into the top of the first chain three of the round to finish up your round. So at this point we are done with round one of the leg hole or the leg extension. So you're going to make a chain of three, turn your work. And this is the round that we are going to repeat again and again until we get the length of the pants that we want you make a chain of three turn your work and then you're going to place two more double crochets into the very first chain one space 
to make a total of three double crochets since the chain three counts as a double crochet chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space and repeat that all the way around until we come back to the beginning of the round okay so we've made it all the way around and you'll make a chain of one and slip stitch into the top of the first chain three of the round so all we are going to do is repeat this round until you get the length of the pants that you desire so this will entirely depend on the height of the person and maybe the order that you get for yourself so for this there is a total of 72 rows all together as you can see on the dummy uh, 72 rows counting from the very first round after the shots so 72 rounds all the way down but they can be 60 as well or 66 depending on the height of the person then yeah you're going to attach your yarn on the opposite side and you do the same exact process for your second leg extension and then finally you will have something that looks exactly like this so i'm not going to take you through the whole process because uh it will take a longer time but these are the tassels that i was talking about earlier on and this is where the pants split and then you continue with the length of the pants until you get your desired length of the pants so that's basically it for today's video uh we already have a written pattern for these pants if you want uh, a written copy and yeah that's it for today guys and for the yarn uh we used about for the yarn we used approximately 2300 yards so uh you could have about 2500 just to be on a safer side and depending on the size that you're making for that can go a little bit up or down depending on the sizes that you're working with and yeah that's it for today's video i'll see you again in my next one when we are learning how to make the matching top for these pants thanks for watching bye